Okay, class, let's take a look at our grammar lesson for tonight. Suffixes ending in L-Y and F-U-L. It says the words in the box all end with a suffix. Choose a word from the box to fill in the blank and complete the following sentences. Well, let's take a look at our words in our blank. We have officially, probably, actually, particularly, slightly. And as you can see, all of these words have the same L-Y suffix added to the end of the sentence, or to the word. Then our other words are successful, meaningful, plentiful, forceful, and wasteful. And you can see that these words all have the F-U-L suffix added to the end of the word. So let's break these down and see what they mean. With L-Y, L-Y means in a certain way. So let's take a look at number one. Obey the rules and do not do anything you are not blank allowed to do. So we know it's going to be one of the words that ends in L-Y. So let's try number officially. Obey the rules and do not do anything you are not officially allowed to do. Well, that fits, but it's not necessarily the one that we want to use. Obey the rules and do not do anything you are not probably allowed to do. So let's go with probably. Now, let's take a look at number two. It says, a newspaper reports the facts of a story the way they blank happened. Actually, the way they actually happened. All right, let's try one more together. The hem of, was uneven with one side blank longer than the other with one side, it's going to be slightly, with one side slightly longer than the other. Now, you can go ahead and pause here to complete number four and five. We're going to jump down to the suffix full, F-U-L, which means full of. So with this one, we have full of success, full of meaning, Full of plenty, full of force, and full of waste. So if you want to play team sports, the after-school leagues are successful, meaningful, plentiful, forceful, or wasteful. And we are going to try plentiful. Number seven, the batter hit the baseball with a sudden blank swing. And we know that it's going to hit it hard, so that's going to be full of force, so that's going to be forceful. Okay, number eight, practice is an important part of a blank juggling act. Well, we know it's not going to be wasteful because it's not full of waste juggling act. Meaningful, full of meaning juggling act, or successful, full of success juggling act. And we would want our juggling act to be successful. Okay, you can go ahead and pause the video here to complete 9 and 10. Now, let's take a look at making nouns plural. It says, a singular noun names one person, place, thing, or idea. A plural noun names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. Form the plural of most nouns by adding S or ES. Look at the ends of a singular noun to decide how to form the plural. So, for example, our plural noun. We celebrated a lot of holidays in Mexico. So, what is the noun's ending? Well, we see that the noun ends in a Y, so we simply add an S. So, it says to write the plural form of the noun in parentheses. During May, we had celebration on Cinco de Mayo. Now, we see that our word celebration ends in a consonant, so all we need to do to make it plural is to simply add an S. So, 
would be celebrations. Now let's take a look at number two together. It is the day the Mexican army defeated soldiers from France. Okay, our word is soldier. We look at the end of it and see that it ends in a consonant. So all we need to do is add an S. Okay, let's take a look at number three. People in the government give speech and everyone plays game. So we have two words here. So we see that speech ends with CH. So in order to make that plural, we are going to have to add an ES. So it's going to be speeches. And our other word was game. So we see that that ends with a vowel, consonant vowel. So all we need to do is add our S. So it would be games. And we'll do one more together. Many people have party during the day and eat Mexican dish. Well, we see that this ends in a consonant and a Y. So in order to make this one plural, because it ends with a consonant Y, is we're going to have to change the Y to I-E-S. So it would be parties. And then we look at our second word. During the day, any Mexican dish. And we see that this ends with the SH, which is going to be the same. It's a blended consonant sound. SH says SH, just as in our CH, it says is a blended consonant sound of CH. -ch. So in order to make dish plural, we are going to have to do the same as we did with speech and add ES. So then it's going to be dishes. Now you guys go ahead and do five and six on your own. And remember to keep your packet together and you will be turning it in on Friday. Thank you.